Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, in this video today, I want to talk to you about the Ripple emulator. This is a Chrome extension that allows you to test PhoneGap applications in your Chrome browser. Now, that's very, very cool. I mean, we all know that you should test in a real device and, and or in the emulator. You definitely should still do that. But I'm a heck of a lot quicker in my uh, Chrome browser. I like the Chrome Dev Tools. I like my editor. I like that quick process of being able to write the files and see them within Chrome. And the Ripple emulator just makes this process a heck of a lot easier because it actually fakes a lot of the phone gap functionality right there within Chrome. So let's get started. Uh, I will say that in this video, I'm just focused on the installation and how you enable it for a phone gap application. I won't talk a lot about the features. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. So what I have here is an extremely simple PhoneGap application. The HTML consists basically of one div tag with some startup text. I load Cordova.js, and then after this, I have a bit of JavaScript code that does a few things. First, it listens for the device ready event. If you've done any PhoneGap work at all, you know that almost every single application will do this. It ensures that you don't use any of the specific device features until it's actually ready to be used. In this case, all I'm doing is listening for that event. When it's fired, I change the DOM to say that it's ready, and that's my entire application. If I run this in Chrome, obviously it won't do much of anything. Um, I don't actually have a Cordova.js file and certainly there's not going to be a device ready event. To install Ripple, you can go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Ripple Emulator. Now for some reason you don't see it, you may want to filter by extensions in this tab right here. I'm just going to click Add to Chrome and say Add. And now Chrome is downloading and it's already ready to go. So we'll just close this. Now this is the new Ripple emulator right there. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to enable Ripple for this URL. The extension will remember when you've done it uh, for a particular URL so you don't have to re-enable it every single time. So we'll try this. Now I'll say last time I installed Ripple, the first time I enabled it, it didn't quite work right. I had to reload the page. If you see that, then well, just try it. Just try reloading. Let's see what happens. Click the icon, click enable, and yeah, so this is what I saw last time. I'm just going to click away and reload. And then bam, we could see there is Ripple enabled. So right away I could see, you know, kind of how it would look in an iPhone 5 in this case. But I'm not quite done yet. There's one more thing I have to do, and that is actually to load Cordova.js. So what file is that? Where do you get it? When you download the PhoneGap SDK, you get the bits for all the platforms it supports. When you want to test PhoneGap and Ripple, you want the Android uh, version of the Cordova file. Now, at the time of me making this video, PhoneGap was on version 2.7. Unfortunately, it did not work well with Ripple. Luckily, you can download any of the older versions, and if you have an older version of PhoneGap, it should work just fine. I have a copy of PhoneGap 2.6. Within the lib folder, I can look at the Android folder, and then kind of drill down until I find the particular file I want, which in this case is cordova-versionnumber.js. So I'm just gonna copy that over, paste it into my application, and I'll go ahead and rename this like so. Now, when I reload this page, I'll actually be able to find Cordova.js and load it, and Ripple will, will take care of firing the device-ready event for me. Let's watch it happen. And there we go. It's actually too quick for you to see. But basically, you know, Ripple made my Chrome browser act like it was on a mobile device at least in terms of the code, you know, essentially being fooled into thinking that it was a mobile device. But what's nice is that now I can use Chrome, I can use Ripple to essentially fake a lot of things and get that rapid uh, development that I'm used to on the desktop. 